Yeah, and Emily, uh, students don't return here to class until next week, but many student athletes are already back here on campus and hundreds of students gathered here at the Luth Athletic Complex just a couple of hours ago for an informal session with chaplains and grief counselors. Students who attended were noticeably shaken, trying to support each other as they gathered for the first time to process this tragic news. The Dean of Students telling us just moments ago this community is devastated. Grace was a light to all who knew her. She was incredibly passionate and hardworking. This is a terrible loss for our community. You know, it's really sad. Um, she was in, in my dorm. She's an RA, so I used to see her around, just walking around in school a lot. And um, it's just like really sad to hear what happened to her. Uh, this will hit this community really hard, I'm sure. I mean, it's like I said, it's so small and there's so, you know, everybody's very close and it's just, uh, it's just, it's just awful. You hate to hear that. Now these photos of Grace Rett come from the rowing team's Facebook page. Fellow athletes told us that they are a close-knit bunch. You can tell that from these photos, the way they not only train together but hang out together. There's a lot of team building, a lot of close friendships. So this will hit the team hard, the athletic community, the entire campus. Uh, there is grief counseling already being made available here. That will continue. And there will also be a celebration of Grace Rett's life as students return here for the new semester in the coming days. We're live at Holy Cross in Worcester, I'm Mary Saladna, WC. CVB News Center 5. Mary.